Hey guys, Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center today, and we're going to talk about how to shed snakes that have went through a bad shed. Now we have this beautiful, beautiful little Guyana red tail boa here. She come into us just the other day, and as you can tell, she's just surrendered over. Doesn't have a whole lot of meat to her bones. She's a little bit, a little bit underweight and she's also got a bad shed, okay? Now, with this being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to deal with it. Doesn't matter the size of the snake. Uh, it could be a big snake, it could be a little snake. But anytime they go through a bad shed, this is gonna be the easiest way to help them out without hurting them, okay? Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put her in this water for about a half hour or so. It's bathtub warm water. Let her soak in it. Let this get skin get real good and soft, and then we'll come back and we'll show you how we're gonna deal with this, okay? Follow along. Okay guys, so now we're back. It's been a little time. Look how beautiful that snake looks inside of that water. Now with all that skin not being as dried as it was, not being as dull looking as it was, you can actually see how pretty uh, this Guyana girl is. She's got that Batman symbol that most people love inside of what they call the saddles or the brown marks that goes down her back as they're called the saddles. Uh, this animal right here is absolutely amazing, 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 and beautiful. Now, this process is absolutely simple. Once you have these animals wet, you can see right there how I'm just running. Look at this. Just running that skin right off on my hands. This is just how simple it is for a bad shed when it comes to any, any snake. Just take, and we'll stretch it out. We'll just run our hands down just like that. Oh, there's another good big piece. Look at that. Another big piece. Bad shed, just that simple. Now her lower half is clear. Around the head, we're a little bit more careful because we don't want to stress them out, don't want to piss them off. Sometimes they get a little bit pissy being closer to the head. The only things that you want to be careful of is, Sebastian, hold the end here. Hold this end. Let me see this end. Be careful of around the head and the eyes. Now, as we're going around the head and around the eyes, watching out for eye caps, sometimes I may actually have to take one and just hold it a little bit more rough. Now, I'm not hurting her, but I'm bringing this up around the head, okay? Now, if you notice the eye caps are on, like right here, you can see her whole headpiece never even come off. Now I'm gonna take, and I'm just gently, gently rolling this back. And the eyes is the one thing that we want, the main thing we wanna be real careful of, because if it's dry and you try and take the eye cap off, you'll damage the eye permanently. Um, so we have to be real, real careful whenever you're working with the side face or the eyes around the eyes of the boa or any snake trying to get those eye caps off if it's just the eye cap alone, nine times out of 10, we're just gonna tell you to leave it alone and wait till the next shed. Because again, if you take the wrong layer, you can permanently damage that eye. That is not in the least what you wanna have happen, okay? Now that I'm around the eye, I'm just peeling this back very, very gently, as you can see around the eye. to get eye cap and all off, okay? Now again, this is not complicated. It's really not. This is very, very simple, very, very easy. But around the head and around the eyes, we just try and be very, very careful. Because we wanna make sure that not only does the eye cap come off, but that we don't damage her head. Okay?
because that's going to be the one, the one area where she's going to have the most amount of sensitivity is going to be right around this head and this eye area. Okay. Now, so now that we're done with that, going back, going back to the neck. Here we go. You can see it all crusting off now. There we go. Again, the main thing with shedding is the eyes. Just don't be rough around the eyes. If it does not come off or if you have any questions at all, don't worry about it. Leave it alone. The nine times out of ten, the biggest reason that they don't shed is they didn't have enough moisture, enough uh, enough moisture in their skin. All snakes produce, produce their own natural lubricant, but if the environment is too dry, that lubricant just dries out too quickly. So if it's something that you're concerned about, when you see the animals go into blue, a snake goes into blue for about 10 to 14 days. Give or take, you're looking seven days in blue, uh, or the eyes being cloudy, and then the eyes will clear up just a little bit. They're not going to be quite as cloudy, and they'll be clear for about three to five days, and shortly after that is when they actually shed, okay? Now, what you can do is during the middle of shed cycle or during the middle of blue uh, or cloudy eyes, you can go ahead and start soaking them once a day. It's easy enough. You can soak them once a day for about 30 minutes, put them in that nice warm water, and they'll absorb more than enough moisture to be able to, whenever they're ready to shed, they'll come right out of that skin. Let's say there was a retained eye cap and you just don't feel comfortable enough with removing it or you don't want to take a chance on damaging the eyes, that's perfectly fine. Uh, as long as that animal's lubed up enough or moist, moisturized enough uh, at the next shed cycle, uh, then those eye caps will come off, okay? So again, the main thing is trying to help the snake, yes, but you don't want to try and help the snake so much that you actually make things worse and you damage it even worse, okay? Now, this is Chad and Sebastian. We are the Reptile Rangers. We're here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. This is Shedding a Snake with Bad Shed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. Share away. Feel free to write us in. Let us know what you want to see about, what you want us to film about. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.